churches have failed on people. That's what I said for black men. You are the low state and you are the greatest thing God ever created. That's what I said for you men and come back in your place. Rule this earth like God made it for you do. If you're not as real, you ain't no kin to me. If you don't fit the 12, then you my enemy. We are in the land of our captivity. Someday we going home, so you best believe. If you're not as real, you ain't no kin to me. If you don't fit the 12, then you my enemy. We are in the land of our captivity. Someday we going home, so you best believe. Open your eyes, turn to awake. We make up the torch as of Israel today. We the real Jews, make no mistakes. They in our homeland ain't only they faking it. Ain't about color, it's more about race. God chose a nation to rule in this place. Jacob, he love, he saw, he hate. You find that in Malachi, one of verse trade. Trade, threats, you know, three. Jerusalem is a motherland, above them is free. There's Galatians, Quattro, B, A, C. Get it, got it, the friend, they peach. If I gotta fast for a couple of weeks, just to get the key. Then no will let it be I am keeping the laws I keep every beast Keep every Sabbath Break bread and I drink Who's ready for Passover 2016 In the month of a day Where we gather in me There's a whole lot of laughter We dance and we sing I'm living for seven days out the week Can't wait to see What the elders gon' teach Pull out my Bible Then pull out my seat That's a spiritual food Don't have a teeth Some say truth hurts Read it and weep If you ain't tryna hear me Then move up the street When I exit your city I dust up my feet Lace up my boots That's equipped with them cleats Lift up my voice Like a trumpet in speed You can see my zeal Hear my zeal All in my speech See that I'm serious I don't show no teeth we are Imperial to find that it and cannot be number like Santa. Santa. Let me stop playing. Where's the black man at that's looking for salvation? That's Where's that's your right. black man at that's gonna rule his household? Where you at? We're looking for you. Real quickly, um, you was asking about we keep hey. posing a question to you, brothers and sisters. Where did we learn Sunday worship from? We learn it from church, but where did we? Where did the church get it from? Is it in the Bible? Is it in the Bible? The Bible tells us about God, but if you don't read it here, then man had to create that thing, then, right? Well, who spoke to man to write the Bible? Once again, anything you want to know about God, Jesus, anything about Him, it's here. How He's to be worshipped is in here. What he like, what he don't like, is in here. Somebody now, if now if somebody said that God said this, and we don't read it here, is that God's word or they word? God's word. That's they word exactly. Now, now, real quickly, watch this. The Bible says, "As it is written, so we are justified in our sins." You know what that means? It has to be here for you to be right. Justified means I'm right. If it's not written here, you're not justified. I can't tell you about God unless it's written here. That's my own words. Now, Sunday service, which our people love to go to. Some of y'all are going to bar. Bible dictionary. The, the officer quoted some. If you want to hide anything from a Negro, you put it in a book. That's a proverb. Because we really don't read. We like pictures. Bible dictionary. You can go to the Barnes and Nobles, to any bookstore. Grab a basic dictionary. You look up Sunday. Prove all things. So if I'm saying that Sunday morning is wrong, I'm going to prove it to you. If you say it right, Prove it to me. And that's what we get every time we ask a Christian, show me in the Bible that we're supposed to go to church on Sunday. And they tell us everything but go to this book, chapter, and verse. Watch this real quick. Let me read this. Hold your thought. One second. We're reading out of the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. You can go and get this. We didn't print this. This ain't our own words. Look up the word Sunday. Read that. Sunday, first day of the week. Now, wait a minute. Off the cuff, it lets you know Sunday is the first day of the week. Woo! On your calendar, look at it. Sunday is the first one. Right. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday is the last day on there. It's even on your calendar. So you can't even say, well, damn, the, 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 the um, oppressor deceived me. No. The calendar, no matter where you get it from, it shows Sunday is the first day of the week. Right. The Bible says, remember the Sabbath, the Sabbath day, seven, Saturday. So watch this, Sunday service. Read that right there, please. For a time, it said, for a time after the ascension of Jesus. So for a time after the death of Christ, the Christians met on the, oh, the Christians. Not the Christians, the Israelites, the Bible speaks of, but the Christians, the other people, other nations that came up and gave you, wait yet, wait yet, wait yet, who gave you this? This Christian did what? 
Jews met on the first, uh, I'm sorry, on the seventh and first days of the week. Now, according to the scripture, the biblical Israelites, the Israelites met on the seventh day. Right. Why? Right. Because it's the seventh day. So the Christians, is making a distinguish, you're not listening. It's distinguishing. The Christians of this right here met on the first day of the week. Not as the Bible declared, but as this lion image declared. Read again, folks, because maybe he ain't comprehending the word. Read it from, from the top. For a time after the ascension of Jesus, the Christians met on the seventh and first days of the week, declined in influence. No, I'm sorry. But as the Hebrew Christian churches declined in influence, the tendency to observe the Hebrew Sabbath slowly passed. So guess what? You real Israelites that read the Bible and, and understand it, what you believe, guess what? Became not popular. Sunday became popular. The churches got bigger. The preacher got famous. The choirs got bigger. Right. Everything got. So guess what? Your little measly Saturday service didn't mean nothing no more. Even though it was biblical, but everybody was doing Sunday. Guess what? I'm gonna do it because everybody else doing it. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. But hey, brother, the Bible is A B C common sense. It's very simple. You know what make the Bible confusing? Religion. Yep. Philosophies. Bring it out. Now watch this. Dealing with you, brother. Leviticus 2, 21 and 5. Can I ask my question? What's your question? Okay. I want to know where in the Bible does it say, okay, where does it say that Sabbath that you're not supposed to buy anything on Sabbath? I'm go. glad you asked that question. Bring it out. Oh, you asked a beautiful question. Beautiful question. Let's deal with the first part dealing with the Sabbath day. Read the Exodus Exodus 20. Yes, exactly what. Nehemiah 10. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So Christ said in the book of John 14, 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. It's a commandment for a man not to shave our beards off and have bald heads. So if you really, really love God and love Jesus, that's a simple law to keep. Law for say you can't keep God's laws. What stops you from keeping hair on your face that grow regularly? Right. You remove hair off your face. Right. Nobody said, man, let me cut this off your face. You do it yourself. So when people say that they don't can't, you can't do God's commandments, means guess what? I don't want to change. I like what I'm doing more than what God said. That's right. That's what, it's, what it means. Real quickly, Exodus 20 real quick for you. Exodus 20 real quick. Dealing with proving that Saturday, the Sabbath, from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, is the Sabbath, not Sunday. Never have been, never will be. Right. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. How do we keep it holy? He's going to let you know in the next verse. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. When you're laboring, you're doing what? You're working. You got six days to get all the money that you can accumulate. But that seventh day belongs to God as an Israelite. That's simple. That's not plain, brother. Six days, Lord said, make all your money. But the seventh day, you being my chosen holy people, is mine. So today, we don't twist that for Sunday, even though on Sunday, you don't keep that holy either. Y'all still buy and sell on Sunday. Y'all still work on Sunday. So on Sunday ain't holy to you either. But in our repentance, and us coming back to our right mind, we got to come back. If we truly say we love God, we love Jesus, he said, do what I say do. That's clear. Now, your second question, dealing with the image of the beast. First and foremost, give me revelations real quick, because this is not Jesus. I hope you understand that. Now, one of these images is Jesus. Show me in the Bible that Jesus is right. Remember, I quoted earlier, 1 Thessalonians 5.21, prove all things. We are not going to sit and open our mouth and say nothing if we can't show it to you, brother. Right. It's not there. I'm going to show you how Jesus look. It's in the Bible. Prove it. Start it with Revelation. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Now, Revelation is in the New Testament. You can't get no, no New Testament than Revelation. It's the last book of the Bible. What does the word Revelation mean? You know? Well, I'm going to divide the word. Revelation, the root word of it is to reveal, right? If you reveal something to me, what is you doing? You're showing me something. If I reveal my chest, I'm showing you my chest, right? If I reveal my shoes, I'm showing you my shoes. Revelation means a revealing of various things. In here, reveal how 
Jesus look even though everybody said we don't know how he look how in the hell we get this if we didn't know if we don't know how do we get there because it's in here now watch this if you love God you would accept this if you love Jesus you would accept this watch this the revelation of Jesus Christ off the cup verse verse the revealing of Jesus Christ a lot of blacks and Hispanics don't want to hear this because in the, inside on good times what was the mama praying to white Jesus when, when, when JJ threw up the black image, she almost destroyed the whole damn house. Well, I hope the space lab is out of the way because I am just about to go into orbit. I don't have to ask who hung this here, Michael Evans, but before I hang you in its place, why? Mama, it's just a symbol of Jesus. Well, hello, Symbol, and goodbye. J.J. painted him. Don't thing of me, Michael. I had him in the closet where he wasn't performing no miracles for nobody. <laughs> Mama, couldn't we at least let black Jesus hang alongside? Forget it. The only Jesus I know is him, and the one thing he don't need is a partner. <laughs> Mama, how do we know Jesus wasn't black? He could have been from the lost tribe of Israel. They were supposed to be black. I bet they were. If ever people were lost, we're it. <laughs> now just wash out both of you. This picture has been in my family for as long as I can remember. When I was a baby, I don't know what I saw first. My mama, my papa, or this Jesus. Now he's the one I know and love, so let's close the subject. Jesus was black, the Bible would have said so. But it does say so. What are you talking about? I read about it, um, it's in Revelations chapter 1, verse 14. I read about it in Muhammad Speaks. It says, um, <laughs> oh, his hair is like wool, and his eyes are like flame of fire. Well, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> it sure do say that, don't it? And see, Mama, look at her hair, like wool, ain't it? <laughs> and look at them eyes, red. Yeah, they, they show sure is. <laughs> Judy, how come you decided to paint this? I don't know. All of a sudden, I just had divine thoughts on my mind. So watch this. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. God left the description of Jesus for his servants. So if you love Jesus, what do you want to know? Well, you, wait a minute. If you say you have a personal relationship, I should know at least how you look. But today, Christians are saying they have a personal relationship with God, don't know what God looked like, what God want, what God want them to do. He's been short to us. Right. Watch this, we don't. Verse 11, saying, I am Alpha. Listen, 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 listen now, listen. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega means beginning and end, right? We understand that word, Greek word. The first and the last, and what thou seest, Right in a book. So the most high put the spirit on John the Revelator. That's who wrote the book of Re Revelations. And he said, what I'm about to show you right in the book. Today, what do we call that, brother? An eyewitness account. We understand that verbiage, right? In the Bible, it says, what? What thou seest, write in a book. What you see, John, write it down. Not what you think. What you, uh, uh, what you assumed, or what you feel. Write down what you see. So what did John um, see? And I turned to see the voice that spake with so, me. So when John was giving this account, he didn't have to write it down, not looking. John said he turned to see the voice that was speaking to him. Now, if I turned and looked at you, if I'm not blind, I can tell exactly how you look, right? I can describe you. So watch this. He's going to describe Jesus. It's in the Bible, brother. We have this book and don't know this vital information. Watch this. His head and his hair. Hold on. When you give an eyewitness account, they always want to know how your face look, right? They don't ask you, hey, how did his toes look? How do his elbows look? How his knuckles look? No, how do your face look? So what's the eyewitness account? His head and his hairs were white like wool. So as they piece it together, said the hair on his head and the hands on his face was white like wool. Bro, 
Brother, who has the woolly hair on the earth? Is this wool? Is this woolly hair? Or is that woolly hair? You let me know. I'm going to ask you again, the hair. Stay with me, brother. I know it's, I know it's hard. Is this woolly hair, the texture of the hair that we're looking at, is that woolly? No. No. Who has woolly hair? I'm asking you that, Father. Who, woolly hair is the hair of Negroes. You can actually look that word up in the dictionary. Say woolly and say hair of Negroes. So guess what? You can take the hair off your head and see woolly. You're looking at woolly all up here in front of you. So how did the eyewitness account of Christ in the Bible say he looked? His head and his hairs were white like wool. Strike one against this image. Let's continue. As white as snow. White as snow to be Christ said fully gray hair. Fully gray hair. Green. And, and his eyes were a flame of fire. So his eyes was a flame of fire. Wait a minute, was Christ shooting red beans out of his eyes like we see on, um, on TBN? What was Christ's first miracle? Green. Who know? What was the first miracle? Green. Turning water into wine. When you drink wine, the whites of your eyes do what? Let's prove that with the Bible. You know what I want. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. The Bible is very clear. We don't have to make up our own words. God is going to tell you exactly what he's talking about. So go back. So the red of Christ's eyes that John the Revelator was writing down was red from wine. Watch this. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So is this guy? Uh, no, he got blue eyes. <laughs> or green eyes. But everybody want to depict them. So watch this, we don't. And his feet. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm looking at feet. So let me ask you something. If you take your shoes off, do your feet match your face? Is, it, is your feet a different color from your face? Is it complete? Like, if you took your, your feet off, would your feet look like hers? So your feet is close to the complexion of your face, right? So wait a minute. Read that in the Bible. And his feet like unto fine bread. You should be able to declare if this is true and false. Just like every brother up here did. We went through the same scripture and said, wait a minute. Read that again? Read it again. <laughs> and his feet like unto fine brass. So brass is already brown. Is he brown, mother? Is he brown? This guy ain't brown. He's brown. So watch this. And his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So wait a minute. What is John the, John the Revelator trying to let us know? Brown is already brown. If you burn something, do it get lighter? If you burn white rice, what color do it get? Black. So if you're already brown, so Christ was the color of you, my brother. So what does that mean then? If this was not Jesus, we already proved this wrong. Done. Oh, so... We don't get to that part, brother. You're just speeding ahead. You're speeding right past the most biggest information in the world. Right. Jesus looked like us. And if he looked like us, where do, who is he then? If this ain't the guy, if the real guy looked like us, who, what, who and what does that make us? It makes us his people. Do you understand that? That's what we out here for. We out here for truth. I know once again we said it earlier, our people is used to getting played, hustled, and pacified. We are here to give you the truth. And we ain't asked for a damn dollar. Because the words of God don't come with a dollar. He said, freely you give, freely you receive. Read. Mark chapter 8, verse 27. And Jesus went out and his disciples in towns of Caesarea and Philippi. And by the way, he asked his disciples, saying unto them, whom do man say that I am? So wait a minute. Christ even wanted to know. Who is folks saying I am? In the last days, you go with Jesus Christ, you get a multitude of these images, which are lies. This is the picture of Christianity. So if the biggest image of Christianity, listen to me one, 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 one quick. One second. If the biggest foundational piece of Christianity is false, is anything else wrong with it? We looked into it. It was. It was more. We found, we found out they was lying about this. We 
found out they was lying about Sunday? Who found out? Guess what? Every time you go to church on Sunday, you get some money, right? It's called tithing, right? Do you know that never was money in the Bible? Give me my Malachi real quick. See, we are here to show you the truth. The thing is, once you hear it, what you gonna do with it? It's one thing to be ignorant because you didn't know. But if you continue to be ignorant after you know better, what book that make you? The Bible said it makes you a fool. It makes you a sinner too. So get it real quick. James chapter 4 verse 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good. I want you to hear this real quick. James chapter 4 verse 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good. So now you know Jesus don't look like this. That he looks like you. You know that the Sabbath is Friday sundown and sun, Friday sundown and Saturday sundown and not Sunday. Read. To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. So if you still go to church behind knowing all this, it ain't God's fault. Thank you. <laughs> it's your fault. Hello. You don't want to change. Hello. You. Sunday. No. You want to know why you should? Hey, you want to know why? You, you want to know why we don't go to church? Because the Lord is not there. He's not at your church. He's not in not one of these churches. You don't. You want to know why? You want. You want to know why? I, I'm saying that it's not in none. Of, do you want to know why? Because who's out here giving them stuff? Christian church, right? Christian church, right? Christian church, right? Christian church. Hold on, we ain't singling you out. Y'all know the world's come out here and give out food. Hold on, now, now you felt convicted by that. Because we, we, we didn't identify you. I said, who be coming out here giving them food? We didn't say identify you. We didn't identify you, brother. Majority of the time it be Christian churches, right? And when they come out here and give them food, do, do they just give it out the kindness of their heart? They give it to them with a flyer of who? It comes with a doctrine. That bottle of water comes with a false image. That burger comes with a false image. The Bible says a gift destroys the heart, the mind. So now when I was down and out and thirsty, like Jesus gave me something to drink. When I was hungry, this gave me something to eat. It destroys you from the truth of the Bible. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, brother? You was not in this situation. Right now you don't have no beard on your face. God said you're supposed to have it. Do you know you will miss the kingdom of heaven for that? Give me that in Revelations real quick. Last book of the Bible. I ain't finna lie. Hey, you want to make it to heaven? Yes. Not really? Yes. Jesus ain't white, you know, really? No? You don't know about I want to make it to the kingdom of heaven. Majority of blacks and Hispanics, you Israelites, should want to make it to the kingdom of heaven because that's where you're supposed to be. That's your position to rule. Now watch this real quick. Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So you're going to be rewarded according to your works. What works you think that, that, that God is looking for? For you just to be running your mouth? I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.